All right. <coughs> I'll uh, uh, say something about r uh, free will versus determinism, the age-old debate, and um, for doing it, I will s first give a definition of what I think is a good definition of free will, and it is. Uh, causality does not apply to brain matter so you cannot relate uh, a free will his future actions to his past actions or in other words you cannot determine his future virtue from his past virtue they are unrelated there is no causal link between the past and the future uh, for the human brain <coughs> Determinism believes that ca causality is a universal principle and it also applies to brain matter like any other matter and so a good estimate of my future behavior is my past behavior and a good estimate of my future virtue is my past virtue. Then um, the methodology that I will use for um, determining truth from falsehood is the scientific method so any true theory cannot be logically inconsistent and has to comply with empirical evidence <coughs> I come up with two proofs for determinism at least for now I think in this video only the first one um, the first one will use s special relativity and UPB yeah I'm very proud of that one. And the second one is based on the premises you agree to already when you uh, enter into a debate, when you when you agree to uh, to logic, when you when you use logic in a debate, you agree to the consistent behavior of of matter. And there are some some consequences to that that you cannot deny it later on, for example. Um, then there is a common misunderstanding that I often come across and I explain this with an example that if uh, you and me uh, stand next to a forest and there are a lot of trees that are uprooted and I say to you well these trees are uprooted because of uh, the storm last night if you then say well that cannot be the cause because there's a tree that's still standing over there and there's another one that is an invalid use of empirical evidence it does not mean that that um, if you can find one tree that is still standing that that this tree somehow has free will or uh, is not in a causal relationship to the storm it just means that that this tree has uh, stronger roots had um, uh, was not on the edge of the the forest where it was hit hardest by the storm it was protected uh, maybe some other tree did not fall on it there, there were some causal reasons if you go further into detail why that uh, single tree did not fall over but it does not take away that the storm caused the trees to be uprooted so I want to have that clear that if if I say to a determinist, uh, to a free willy, uh, hey, you're using all kind of causality in your explanation of human behavior, if they then go back to, uh, well, yeah, but uh, that is, there are influences, they are not causal relationship, but they are influences, then uh, I say, I go back to this example, I say, yeah, there are uh, maybe more detailed uh, relationships if you can find an exception to the rule but if we say that uh, a violent upbringing of kids causes them uh, to be immoral then if you bring one exception to bear uh, it does not mean uh, you refuted uh, causality in human behavior uh, there could be lots of reasons uh, why that uh, person uh, managed to escape that situation. It is the statistical significant uh, numbers that uh, make the truth. So be clear about it. Um, 
Then some further definitions that uh, are often confusing in this kind of debates. For example, uh, right versus wrong, what does it mean? Um, I'd like to distinguish between a truth statement and the holder, the individual that holds a truth statement. The truth statement itself exists outside reality. It's not of a material form, it's not of made of energy, it's just a statement. It's a concept, it's idea. Concepts do not exist in reality, I was told by someone, I think, yeah. And um, <coughs> so a statement can still be false. That means not compliant with what actually is going to happen in reality. So a statement 2 plus 2 is 5 is wrong. Now we can say yeah, but who holds that statement and we can uh, figure out some person who holds that statement and uh, can we say that he is also wrong holding a statement? Yes, I, I would say that you could say that he has a wrong statement about reality, a wrong idea about reality, even though he could not have had any other ID. It, it means the idea about reality is still wrong, but um, the fact that he has this ID, uh, he could not help it. He went to some really state uh, state school, so they taught him that two plus two is five, and that that um, yeah, you can recover an economy by uh, trillions of bailouts. Um, so that's for for right versus wrong. I hope I. Uh, explain that sufficiently. Then a word like choice is also very, um, very, very hard for in this, these these debates. What is choice? I would say choice uh, for a determinist means that uh, your your brain has a lot of uh, neurons in it, and uh, you get a lot of inputs and a lot of information in, and then some most likely um, most favorable action is done. Uh, regarding that. That is a deterministic choice, just like like uh, computers make these choices based on uh, uh, the quality of the internet to choose a high or a low bandwidth video connection. Um, uh, it is a choice, but uh, given all the inputs it could not have been any different. But I will still use the word choice for that uh, selection of options. Then the word change, also very confusing. Um, free will is often used, um, use uh, two words for change. They say there's one change for, for uh, deterministic change and one change for magical change. Um, I, I'd say there's one kind of change. And um, so we have one word for all the change and one principle that, that determines all changes. And I would then say change is a difference from time to time in speed or location of matter and energy. Uh, so computers communicating with each other change each other's behavior because there's matter and energy changing because uh, um, yeah, there uh, is one signal sent from one computer to the other computer who reacts on that. <coughs> People debating with each other also change. There are neural impulses going, there's sound moving when I speak, there's uh, sound waves going, my, my muscles for my, my larynx or my, my lips are uh, being controlled by my neurons. Um, there's all kind of changes in the position and speed of molecules uh, in, my, in my body. Um, so people debating, that is also a change. Rocks bouncing into, into each other down a hill is also a change. It's all different uh, different degrees of, of complexity, but uh, they're all changes of matter and energy. So when I use change, I, I use the difference in speed and the location of matter and energy. And the principles ruling that change are the laws of physics. And also, uh, when we have a carbon atom, say there's a, a carbon atom outside my head, this carbon atom, where is it? Here, I got it, yep, yeah, this one. This has 